I would like to dance to this song and embarrass my children. I feel like Sesame Street would be all over that. So we're gonna see how well you know modern music today. Oh, I'm in deep trouble now. I love modern music, but I just cannot memorize the new artist or the titles of the song. I don't think I've been listening lately. I probably won't know anything. I tried to turn on the radio last night, and I had to turn it right back off. I have literally been listening to nothing but the Bee Gees lately. That's not modern at all. I've been trying to catch up with the new music and become more open, so hopefully this time I'm a little better. But I always make the same mistakes, yeah. I love a song. Make the same mistakes, cause I'm bad in love. I've heard this. Who sings it? Oh gosh. I recognize the voice. It's such a sweet song, right? Uh, I don't know. They all sound the same to me. God, what's this girl's name? Um, it was a very honest song. I'm bad at love, but you can't blame me for trying. I think that's a good approach to take. And do you know it? Uh, I don't know this. <laughs> I thought I heard it, but I don't know. Bad at love, I just don't know the artist. I believe it's Halsey, and it's called Bad at Love. Bad at love, and it's Halsey. This is Bad at Love by Halsey. Oh, okay. Other than maybe songs featuring Halsey, I've never listened to Halsey. She has a very, very good voice. She can project really well, which is hard to do. She's so talented, and there's just something in her voice that always clicks with me that I like. Just gotta. Nice, a nice lilt to it. Okay, I like it. Who doesn't love this song? I like it, but I don't know who they are. I mean, it sounds like Muse. It's different than what I would normally listen to, but I like it. I'm not hating it at all. Hmm, I like the music to it, like the drums. I like the song. It sounded uh, like that movie Flash Gordon where Queen did the soundtrack a long time ago. There was that part where just flash. Do you know it? No. No, I do not know it. I do not know it, I'm sad to say. Dig Down, Imagine Dragons. I don't know the song, right? But uh, I believe it's Muse. So this is Dig Down by Muse. Not even heard of him. Oh, really? OK. I haven't heard stuff from Muse in a while. So Muse's front man, Matt Bellamy, says the song is about looking to counteract the current negativity in the world and give inspiration, optimism, and hope to people to fight for the causes they believe in. That's good. I like that concept. That's the big thing wanting to make a change. I mean, that's what it's gonna take. It's gonna take the majority of people as individuals to band together and create that change. I think that's great. Got the city on fire. Bitch lying on me like she tired. I'ma have to fuck her I like the beat, but I just don't know who they are. Stirring up the pot, I'm a liar. I'm sure I hit it one time. It's very catchy. It's one of those songs I probably shouldn't like, but I do. Sometimes I'm a white fur. It ain't safe for the black or the white girl. It ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. Tell your man pipe. That's a club music. I would like to dance to this song and embarrass my children. Yeah, skip. I like it. That beat is super pumped up. It's one of those songs that you really want to hear when you're with your buddies uh, drinking or chilling. And do you know it? I have no idea. No. I've heard it. I just didn't care to find out who the artists were. No Limit by ASAP Rocky. The song is by Cardi B, G Something, and the title is uh, No Limit. This is No Limit by G Easy featuring ASAP Rocky and Cardi B. Well, there you go. G Easy. It sounds like a kind of cheese whiz. Oh, Cardi B, she's so cool. All the rest of them are so cool too, said their mother. I do know this song. I love this song, you guys. This is a really good song, I really like this one. We can share no, not so much, I have not heard this one. It has like kind of an old like 90s kind of a vibe to it. Oh, 
it sounded like it was getting really good there. I like the horns. I like the groove. I like that song. They're real mellow. Just kind of, you know, driving music. So do you know it? No, I do not know it. I don't know it. No, I don't know this one. <laughs> I wish I knew you. Don't know the artist. I wish I knew you by The Revivalist. I think it's called Wish I Knew You, and it's The Revivalist. This is Wish I Knew You by The Revivalist. Oh, Revivalist, never heard of them. Very catchy song, though. Boom! Oh, my goodness. I didn't know I came so sharp today. It had kind of an 80s sound to it. That was cool. I've never listened to them. I'll have to check them out. I've been smoking gas and I got no. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in lot, my bank account. A lot of M's. Nice. Account. Yeah, in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account. I said that four times. Yeah, bank account. Bank That's five. Wow. No. <laughs> he can certainly count. I feel like Sesame Street would be all over that. And do you know it? No. I do not know it. I don't think I have heard the song, no. 21 Savage. And it's called Bank Account. This is Bank Account by 21 Savage. Yeah, never heard of him. I've heard the name, and the only reason I heard the name is because my students have asked me if I've listened to it. And I told them no. The beat's okay, but just those songs where they just keep repeating the lyrics over and over and over again incessantly just kill me. Dedication. Wow, this person really needs to get to somebody. Sounds familiar. Yeah, I've heard the song a lot. Man, that child ran through a lot to get to him. He better take her. <laughs> Do you know it? No. I don't know it. I don't know it. I've heard it, but I can't really nail it down. It's Wolves by um, Selena Gomez and Marshmallow. This is Wolves by Selena Gomez and Marshmallow. Oh, well, there you go. I love Marshmallow. I didn't know they collaborated. That's pretty cool. I like Marshmallow, a lot, a lot of his stuff, and I like um, Selena Gomez. So Selena Gomez hasn't confirmed or denied, but some people think this song may actually be about her battle with lupus because the word wolf is lupus in Latin. Wow, I didn't know that. It's good to get that stuff out there. You let it like sit and simmer that can eat you up inside, so that's good. This sounds like that guy who does the pop and tag song. Oh, somebody would have told me that. I have heard it. Darn it. I love the song. What an uplifting tune. I don't know it, but she's got a good voice. That song. His voice sounds sexy. I know I've heard that voice before. The female vocal is super good. And do you know it? No. No, I don't. I don't know it. Good old days. Macklemore, but I can't place the the girl. Macklemore? Good old days. Macklemore, good old days. Good old days, and that's Macklemore. So this is Good Old Days by Macklemore featuring Kesha. Oh, Kesha. Oh, she coming back. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah, she can sing. I mean, Dude, coming back with a vengeance. Whenever I hear this artist, it's always like, you know, you're like, you can't help but being like, wow, I kind of feel better about the world. I'm driving along and I'm all happy again. So that's, you know, I like it. Thanks for watching today, you know it on the React channel. Let us know in the comments which artists we should listen to next. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Katie, a React channel producer. Thank you so much for watching this episode. It's because of you that we get to make videos every single day. So hit subscribe. Bye.